Welcome back to my Colorado Mountain Garden. And I'm going to go over some of the tomatoes I'm growing this year. These are the Micro Dwarf and the Dwarf Tomatoes. Um, this is my little pet project for the year. Uh, the other tomatoes that are going in, believe it or not, are all going to be determinate tomatoes. And it's basically just because... the. The larger indeterminates, they just get huge on me, especially because I grow them in containers and I grow them in the greenhouse and they just take over the world. So I decided to do the dwarfs this year because of the fact that I'm trying to get a little more compact. Um, the two seeds that I'm going to talk about first are the micro dwarfs and I have grown both of these. The first one is the tiny Tim. And this is going to be my fourth growing season on that here. Uh, they do very well. I believe I had the, my Tiny Tims last year in beds in my big greenhouse. But the year before I grew them in containers and they were three gallon containers. They do not need to be in that big of a container. But my greenhouse does get hot and I get worried about them drying out too much. So again, this is going to be my fourth year on the Tiny Tims. These two here are micro dwarfs. So that means they're very small, compact plants. This one gets to be about, even though they say it's 12 inches, it is more towards 18 to 20, at least in my growing situation. This one is the Orange Hat, and this came from Baker Creek. Um, the other one came from Seeds Now. This is my second year growing these, and these were awesome, super sweet, great producers. And if you visit my Facebook page, it's a public Facebook page, so anybody can join, is My Colorado Mountain Garden Homestead. And I'm going to post a picture of what these looked like where I grew them. I grew them in a trough with my chives. There's six plants there. I believe the picture is from June 14th of last year, and you will see they are loaded with green tomatoes. The other picture is what um, both of these look like ripe just on a plate when I brought them in. Both of these varieties, I'm saving seeds this year, so they're going to be segregated when they're in my house and when they're out in the garden. The next set of seeds that I'm going to show you are all indeterminate dwarf tomatoes, meaning that they have suckers just like a regular indeterminate thing, uh, thing tomato. Um, so you'll have to pinch those back. I may let two stalks, because of the fact that these are more compact than, say, a black creme, I may let one extra sucker grow. <coughs> as they get bigger just to give it a little more bushiness and get some more plants off the side. I don't know if I'll do a single stem. It, that'll all be dependent. Now the ones that you're going to see that I talk about first are the ones that are a little bit smaller, meaning that what Victory Seed, which they are one of the big ones that sponsor the Dwarf Tomato Project, um, say that they're short a shorter variety so the first one is the dwarf arctic rose and let's see what it says about that this is 60 days to maturity so after it gets totally planted wherever it's going to go i am going to put all these in five gallon containers eventually three feet tall the tomatoes are going to be between three to eight ounces and the tomato is red Next one is the Chocolate Champion. Chocolate Champion is 70 days to maturity, four feet tall, and I'm going to get two to six ounce tomatoes, hopefully more six. And the color is red with a brownish shoulder. Again, these are all indeterminate. Uh, this one is the Dwarf Snake Bite. This is 80 days to maturity, three to four feet tall, and I should be seeing somewhere between four and 16 ounce tomatoes, and they are to be red. 
The next batch are the little bit taller indeterminates. And these are going to be capping out between four and five feet. Um, so this one is the Adelaide Festival. The Adelaide Festival is 80 days to maturity, four to five feet tall, six to ten ounce tomatoes, red with green stripes. Next one is the Dwarf Sweet Sioux. The Dwarf Sweet Sioux is 80 days, four to five feet tall, five to 18 ounce tomatoes, and these are going to be yellow. I love yellow tomatoes. I hope some of you give them a try. And then I have the Dwarf Eagle Smiley. And what they're telling me about this one is that it is 60 days to maturity, five feet tall. It is a cherry tomato like these ones here but it's going to be taller five feet remember so it's got to be caged and those tomatoes are going to also be yellow i am just trying to compact things the the ones from victory seed i've never tasted before i've never grown i'm doing this so that i can see how i like them in taste see if i want to regrow them next year and in years to follow i'm trying to get down to where i'm only growing tomatoes that i want to do every year i might select one or two tomatoes new tomatoes to grow but this is a pretty big experiment for me because except for my determinant tomatoes that i'm also going to grow and i'll go through those later um it could be a total failure. It could have no tomatoes. I don't know. We'll just have to see. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Happy gardening. And just know that I'm going to start my tomato seeds the week of April 1st. It may be April 1st. I will be starting them in paper towel and on heat mats. Have a great day. Bye-bye.